Hi. Last week I was training a client on the distribution series when they asked me the question, how can I go in and see which purchase orders I need to approve? They're using the purchase order enhancement of approvals. So I'm going to show you what I did for them. So on my navigation panel, I'm going to select the purchasing series. And first, for you, let's make sure you have the purchasing enhancement set up. So under Setup and Purchase Order Enhancements, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make sure the purchase order approvals are set to activate, which means I've turned on that advanced feature. And then you'll want to go into the Approval Setup button. From here, you'll see all of your uh, GP users or your PO users. You can highlight each user and grant what their approval authority is. So in this case, my, I'm logged in as SA and I have unlimited approval authority. So let's close that out. Let's take a look at a purchase order for a moment. My first purchase order is unapproved and my second purchase order is approved. So that kind of gives us a little insight into what we have going on. Now, out of the box, there is a way under Inquiry that I can see all the purchase orders that need to be approved, that are unapproved. And again, under Inquiry, there's Unapproved Purchase Order Documents, and I'll click on that, and I can see all of my unapproved purchase orders. And from here, you can highlight one and drill down and deal with your purchase order. You can um, also drill down on the vendor, and you can narrow it down by ranges, vendors, and dates. You could also click, click on the printer icon and print this report to the screen. Stretch that out. And I can see, I do have one dropship purchase order here, but I can see my purchase orders listed right here with unlimited authority. This is SA, this is who I'm logged into, and I can now know which ones I need to deal with. But with the use of Smart List Builder, I've done something a little bit different. So, and I've even created the export files and you can download them with this blog posting if you like so that you can see, uh, you can import them yourself and then you won't have to do any of the building. The first thing I did under Smart List, I've got my new object here for additional Smart List and I've created an object called Purchase Order Approvals. And if I click on that, I can now see the status of all of my purchase orders um, approved, unapproved, and so forth. And I can narrow down my list this way just using standard purchase order uh, processing. So I'm going to choose uh, is equal to unapproved. And now I can see my five documents. Okay, so that's pretty nifty. And I can take it. And again, because I have my go to button populated, I can uh, go to any of these windows or double click and go right to the purchase order entry window from here as well. Now, I thought this was really nice, but I took it a step further and I also used the Smart List Builder to create an Excel file. Now, I have my Excel reports um, set up in the system. And if I scroll right here on the bottom, purchase order approval list. So I've created this Excel report as well. So I could have Excel open and see the transactions and they'll update dynamically. Let's do one now. So what I'm going to do is highlight this first one. Yes, I've even added drill down in here. And that purchase order window does not seem to go to the forefront automatically for me. But what I'm going to do is come in and I'm going to mark this one as approved. So I'll click on save, close that out. And I've got an auto report. I'll close that out. Back in my Excel report, now all I have to do is data and refresh, and that re uh, purchase order is now off of my unapproved list. These are some great way to work, great ways to work. And don't forget, I'm going to have the export files of both the Excel and the Smart List on my website here so that you can download for free. So if you have a Smart List Builder, you can import them directly into your own system. If you do not have Smart List Builder, then there are some ways you could go into Excel and do it directly. Um, or you might want to talk to your partner about obtaining Smart List Builder. Hope this helps.